load of his went down, just went down to a few fields and had a look just for his, you know, older mates who'd been doing them and stuff like that. But only four of us did it. Um, and we did about 200 each. Uh, in, a, in a season, the maximum was probably about 13 dry ounces. You know, because like, we, we picked mushrooms in January before because it had frosted deep enough. Um, I would say I've taken magic mushrooms on five separate occasions. I've taken shrooms three times. Three or four times taking magic mushrooms. Well, there was a bunch of us the first time. Um, we didn't really do much because we didn't really know what to expect. It was all new experience, so we were just... It was very giggly, everyone was laughing a lot, quite funny. And, yeah, that was about it, really. Um, my first time I did it with a group of friends. Um, it was alright, it was just kind of... We just chilled, watched cartoons and... Yeah, just found things funny. Uh, not too many hallucinations. Kind of just moving, like, shapes and colours. Yeah, it was fun. I haven't really done anything like it before, so um, it wasn't entirely sure what to expect. Um, I was expecting my pupils to dilate quite so much, um, and that was weird to see in the mirror because everything looked slightly different, but I couldn't place why. And lots of fungi produce these things they're called secondary metabolites. So the things they sort of, you know, a lot, they, they produce them, like penicillin is a fungal metabolite and that kills bacteria, so it's kind of a uh, easier to work out why a fungus might produce penicillin you know, in its little sort of biological warfare against bacteria that may be competing with it. Well generally there's an overall feeling of euphoria, it's quite a happy happy feeling when you're high on it. Yeah it feels pretty, you feel pretty happy, like a sense of euphoria, um, things are, you find things pretty funny, like laughter for no reason, you'll break down to hysterical laughter, um, yeah it's just quite enjoyable. I suppose it Changes depending on how much you take. Um, so the more you take, the less you have in your body. Um, your mind is in a completely different place. It's, it's a complete shift in consciousness. Um, the, as I said, your body just isn't yours anymore. It's like you're in a space above your head, almost viewing everything around you in a completely different way through a different lens. It's, it's a really, really lovely experience. Physically, it's quite relaxed. Um, very laid back, couldn't get up much to do anything. Everything else had a kind of glow to it. Um, in terms of um, why a fungus might produce something that was uh, has some sort of psychoactive effect on uh, animals or humans, you know, um, sometimes this, sometimes we have an idea. Um, I don't know if you've seen the zombie ant fungus. It's quite an interesting thing. It grows in the brain of an, the target ant, and then the ant sort of just like a zombie clambers upwards and upwards and upwards and then sort of bites onto the plant and then dies and the fungus then fruits. So you can see how the fungus is getting the ant to make that sort of strange behaviour so that it's getting its fruiting body as high up as possible, which is a good idea for spreading spores. Uh, I like to experience an alternate perception on reality, uh, expand my consciousness. It's something you can't really experience without magic mushrooms. There's no real other way of seeing the world the way you see it through magic mushrooms. I just really like the shift in consciousness. I really enjoy being in a different mindset and just getting away from everything, like the mundane and the everyday, the banal crap that everyone goes through. And it just becomes so, so you just get used to it. You just get used to life and it just allows you to take a step back and just enjoy everything again. You see everything from a new perspective. And I just really enjoy taking psychedelics. I think they're really good. They're really fun. Um, as to why fungi have psychoactive effects on um, humans, like the mushrooms, um, hard one to tell. We're not an obvious part of their life cycle. If we were good at spreading their spores, you could see a reason. Um, so I just guess it's a chance thing. All, all, you know, all mushrooms will have lots of these different metabolites. Um, some of them are toxic, you know, but these poisonous mushrooms, and other ones have other effects and they happen to make compounds that are similar to some of the neurotransmitters that we have in our bodies, I guess. We do as a, as a family to pay, for, to pay for Christmas because it's just before Christmas 